Early data, what is this? This is a beautiful round 480 by 480 display connected to a Qualia ESP32 S3, and this is our tester bed. So using uh, the RP2040 Pico, I can run a test to program the ESP32, check all the pins, um, load in the code to draw a graphic, and then when it's done, it's like, yay, rainbows. Um, so I just got these coming off the panel. And what's neat is that rainbow design, I actually had ChatGPT write for me. Um, so I was like, oh, I wanted to show like every hue, and like I could have done the math to figure out how to make this uh, pop out, but it did a great job. So um, always using friendly robots to help with coding. Coming into the shop soon. All right, lady, what's this? Hello, this is me testing out a uh, 2.4 inch TFT Featherwing. This is the original version, which I had to like basically completely redesign because of chip shortages. Here's the new version, prototype green. And when I have a board that has um, feather connectors, what I do is I grab all of these feathers here. So you've got uh, 32U4s and Teensy and ESP and SAMD21 and AVR and ADG, whatever, RB2040. And I plug them in the back and I have one example code that I run on all of them. Um, that verifies the touch screen, so that's working, yay. Uh, verifies that it can read an image off the SD card, that's these beautiful flowers. And um, uh, also, let me see what else, it does the SD card for reading the image, it does the touch screen, and of course it does the TFT. Uh, oh, and the IRQ for the um, touch screen as well. So all things are tested with all these boards, uh, so this is ready to go to the Adafruit shop. All right, Lady, what is this? This is a round 480 by 480 display running on the new Qualia ESP32 S3 boards, the final versions. Um, and this is the CircuitPython code that's running on it. And you're like, whoa, I didn't know CircuitPython had support. Well, we do now, thanks to Jepler's Intrepid PR that's about to get merged for adding dot clock support. This also comes uh, on the heels of adding. IDF 5.1, the ESP IDF upgrade, which actually really improves the quality of the displays as well. Uh, so the example I've got running here connects the internet and finds our latitude and longitude by using GeoIP and then displays an image of the moon. Now the image of the moon will eventually be like the moon phase that matches yeah. with our location, but just to get started, um, I wanted to uh, just have a moon, um, but the color looks much better because we have all 16-bit uh, color no blue wires, run CircuitPython beautifully, and no flickering. Coming soon.